Hey friends, Ryan Dorn here, your global sales coach, and we're answering your listener questions sent in to Ryan at RyanDorn.com. We answer those questions here, and we also answer them over on the Ryan Dorn podcast as well. So go to iTunes or Spotify and just search Ryan Dorn, D-O-H-R-N, and uh, you'll find us there. All right, next question is from Kenny out in Los Angeles. Well, it says LA, so I guess it could be Louisiana or it could be LA. Doesn't matter, right? The question from Kenny is, Ryan, working with my boss and the KPIs, so KPIs, Key Performance Indicators, the KPIs are flat out unreasonable. What do I do? Um, so Kenny, when you think about KPIs, normally it's not a micromanagement technique. Normally KPIs are put in place so that you are you have a path to follow to be successful. So it's pretty rare that I see somebody, a, a sales manager or whatever, just create KPIs out of nowhere um, and they're just completely bonkers. Normally there's some thought behind it. So one of the first things that you wanna do is, you know, adjust yourself, you know, to just say, okay, I'm gonna have a good attitude about this. And then the second thing is, you don't want to question the boss, but you could sit down and say, I've got some questions and concerns about the KPIs, and I just wonder if you could give me some insight into kind of where they came from so that I can set up my day correctly, um, I can manage my time correctly. You want to approach it as, I want to exceed these KPIs, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Boss. I want to exceed these KPIs. I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to be a raging sales success. So you want to take what you, you know, you want to be really positive about it instead of coming at it from a point of negativity. It's always amazing to me um, at my wife's uh, big equestrian events when people come to the counter to ask a question. And if they just would be kind, if they would be positive, we'd always give them all kinds of help. But it's the people that are hateful that come to the counter and are accusatory. You're like, didn't your, didn't your grandmother or mother teach you that you'll always get, you know, more, more, more flies with, you know, with sugar? Um, than you will with vinegar or whatever this whatever the old saying is. A lot of people just forget that. So if the KPIs are unreasonable, what I would consider doing is approaching the, your supervisor, boss, whatever, with a really positive outlook on why the KPIs are in place. You, you have to understand that KPIs are things that are super common at every company, Kenny. If they're unreasonable, they're unreasonable. But at least if you go to your supervisor with a positive attitude, get some understanding around them, you may know. Um, you may get a better idea of kind of why you're doing them and what that direction is. But remember, a lot for me, Kenny, is me. Youcontrolyou.com. Maybe that's a good book for me to write. Youcontrolyou.com. I own that name. It doesn't really go anywhere. But I'm going to write something about it because ultimately you control you. you know, I mean, your emotions, your attitude, how you approach things. So just think about that, Kenny, um, and how you approach you know, going to your boss or supervisor with your concerns about the KPIs. Hey, in the end, if that's how you're going to be judged, then rock forward. You know, just get her done. All right. For more about me, what I can do, head over to RyanDorn.com. And uh, if you'd be so kind, I'd love for uh, all of you to get out there and uh, get a copy of the new book, Selling Forward uh, Purchased. We're donating the lion's share of these proceeds uh, to the Golden Harvest Food Bank uh, here in our area. All right, friends, take care. We'll see you next week.